So a few days ago we noticed that Oakley had like a little knot or cyst by his jaw. So we called the vet and he's gonna come today. He said it could either be like a cyst or just like a mucus block of his saliva gland. So we're gonna find out today. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. That's weird. It's just alcohol and beer. Gonna see what's in there. Yeah, it's pus. Oh my gosh. That is disgusting. I would recommend, it, now that we know it's pus, let me go get a little scalpel blade and I'll just lance it. Okay. okay. And then this I would recommend submitting for, have you guys tested for CL and all that? We tested our herd last year. I was gonna retest our whole herd this year. And this would be like the best, like if this happens to be CL, be yeah, this best. is the okay. most like drawing blood. Uh -huh. Isn't a very good way of doing really? it. This way will tell us what's going, kind of going on. Okay. Oh, he's slowly getting tired. Getting Having trouble, but he's got yeah. a pretty light dose that, and we'll just do it real quick and then reverse him, and okay. hopefully he'll get <laughs> standing right back up for us. No close back up before you know it. There it goes. Oh, yuck! <laughs> There's always someone that that likes the. <laughs> likes to watch stuff like this. Yeah. Oh. You having fun, Lenny? Yeah. <laughs> she loves stuff like that. And it's good that if this is CL that we're doing it on like concrete, because you guys can always clean that with bleach. Okay. okay. Whereas if it's like, if say if we did this and it was like just poured all out, then mm -hmm. doing it in there, you pretty much have to take, get rid of the soil that it falls on. Okay. okay. Nothing really bleached doesn't work on stuff like that. Okay. I really don't think that they would because we've tested it. Well, it's I, pretty... I, I will say that when I was in California where they'd never had CL and there happened to be a goat oh, dairy. Thank you. That was two miles away. <laughs> wow. It doesn't travel in the air, does it? Or no, but it down? travels on flies. Flies, oh. they get an abscess and then flies land in it, then they make their way down the road. Just but they the have discharge. it for life or they have the antibodies? They have it for life, yeah. Oh, okay. They'll have it, like once you get an active infection, just assume that they have it for life because oh, okay. just it stays in their lymph nodes and you don't okay. really get rid of it. And so a lot of the time I, I usually recommend culling. Like one of the other things we can do, there's a vaccine. The problem with, so, Say if you give it to everybody. Like your whole herd. If your you whole herd. Did it. Then you can never blood test again to see because they always have antibodies oh, to it. Okay. So then, but it'll decrease like the incidence of abscesses. Okay. Like they won't be as big. Do most people vaccinate their whole herds? No. It's holding his head up decent. Let me just make sure I don't yeah. stick you in the finger. <laughs> okay. Well guys, I've been pretty stressed today just thinking about the possibility of Oakley having CL. CL is a goat disease that you always try to avoid. It's one of those ones that you test for every year, which we have ever since we've owned goats, we've tested. And you always are like really proud of the fact that your goat herd is free of all the other goat diseases. I thought it had to be from contact with another goat or maybe a human that had touched a goat. But he said that flies can be in a neighboring farm and it can get transferred. We don't really have any goats on our street, but I know the neighborhood next to us, there are a few different little goat farms. So I'm just really, really hoping that he doesn't have it. If he did, it can be really difficult to manage on your farm to like have a goat that has the CL. So um, we might have to honestly put him down. Yeah, it's gonna be a difficult choice. The plan right now is just to wait for the test results to come back. In the meantime, I'm still gonna test my entire herd this year of all of the goat diseases and we'll see what happens. Wish us luck. <laughs> all right, 
night. I thought I could get through this kidding season not having to bottle feed, but it looks like we're gonna have to bottle feed little Oakley here. He's close to being weaned, so I think it'll be all right. The only question is, <clears throat> will he actually take the bottle? Yeah. And we're not sure if he will, but maybe yeah. if he's hungry enough. She <laughs> only have to feed him a couple of times. I hate having to separate him like this. I feel so bad. He cried all night. Good thing our neighbors are out of town. <laughs> I feel really bad. Eventually he quieted down and now today he's a little bit better. I'm so sorry. So after like five days of waiting for the results, we finally found out that he does not have CL, which I was really worried about. I mean, we've never had it here on the farm, but it doesn't mean that your goats can't contract it, you know, things happen, but we're good. So it's time to let little Oakley back out with everybody else. Are you tired of being in there? It's been a rough couple days. Let's go. Let's go back and see your mama. Your zits, all good. Come on, there's mom! <laughs> yes! Mom! Oh, she's so nice. Got all three wanting to eat. 